this video is a long time coming. As you can tell from that first little scene, I am in Ketchikan, Alaska visiting TJ and Jan. Supposed to be up here last year, finally I'm up here. So the plan today, TJ already had a charter at 6 a.m. He's going out again at 11. That's the one I'm trying to join him on right now. There's a, some other people that I don't know on that boat, so I'm gonna film a little bit and fish on that. But the main thing is gonna be after that. TJ's gonna be done working at three. Let's see if I remember how to drive a stick shift. Is this new? Huh? Is this new? No, it's the same, same one, one here, which dude. Looks clean. Still rocking it. Yep, this pink. is the pink, 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 pink. The tail, the oval spots, large ovals on their tail. And then their mouth is white. Six hour layover last night so I could sleep in the airport. Arrive here at 8.30, start fishing. You'll catch your pinks on that, cohos on that, pinks. Chum, chum, chum. King, king, coho, king. Yeah, damn, they're really color sensitive because those look almost identical. Oh yeah, hell there? yeah, yeah. Huh. Wow. That right there will clean the pink's little clock when they're in here. So like a total noob, I forgot to check one of the microphones I was wearing and I wasn't getting any audio. So I'm going to voice over what I'm saying. Don't know what I'm saying, but all I know is that TJ's mic is working. We anchored up and we're fishing for a halibut now and some rockfish. TJ's inside. Oh, here he is. Uh, B2 squid, gum pucky in there, A dot, um, mustad hook. Yeah, you know, just clip on, we're running 80 pound power pro, clip on your Main line to that and clip your weight to that. Put a piece of salmon on the hooks. Good to go. How many pound test is this? It's a 120 pound crimped. You just crimp it. There's no knots. It's all crimps. 120 mono. And then how heavy the weight? Mm, in this current, we're only in 120 feet of water, so we'll probably use 24 ouncer. But you're anchored, doesn't that? Yeah. Does that matter? Like you're anchored, not moving. Can you just use one pound if you want it? The current will blow it way back. And the current's okay. so strong, it'll actually blow your stuff back. All right, let's look in this cooler. Hey, TJ, is this the silver? That, no, that's the pink. Yeah, legally we can fish with chum and pinks. Can't fish with cohos. Have you used these before? No. They work really good and it's hella simple. What's it called? Screw swivel? Yeah, for like a, a dollar piece. The clips that hold, you know, a two pound ball, it's so, it's so hard to open and close them. I like these things, they actually work really good. Yep. It's kind of shaking its head like a little halibut. I think it might be a little halibut. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, you hold the rod and I'll gaff it. I'll reach down and gaff it. Leave his head in the water. That's how we do it on chargers. Yep, just leave his head in the water and then I'll reach down and gaff him like that. Mr. Halibut. This is like the size we look for on a on a charter because he's under 48. I can actually keep him. Wow, that's a freaking good sign. It's not usually anywhere near that fast. There's never a swell in here. It's too protected. There'll be chop, there'll be waves, but never a swell. Never a ground swell. Is he there? Something's there. <laughs> Ratfish, rockfish. Flounder. I'm, my money's on a uh, rock fish. I don't know Matt's if there's is... anything even there. It, did you lose him? Oh no, you got a rock fish. Mm -hmm. Pretty rock fish. That's a pretty nice one. Yeah, that is a pretty nice one. We'll keep him. It really does look like a cow cod that you cannot keep in California. Oh really? Oh, that's interesting. So the limit for rock fish is one per day, right? 
One non-pelagic. So like a non-pelagic is one that's, you know, this is his home ground. He's not really going anywhere. He's not out in the open ocean in big schools. Like in California, you got your blacks, your blues. Those are pelagics. And then you got, you know, your like vermilions and your coppers and stuff. Those are non-pelagics. Like this. This is a non-pelagic one a day. Your blacks, your blues. We got a lot of big blacks here. Um, you're allowed five of those a day, but that is not one of those. So one a day. Surprised there's not an eagle out here, seriously, already. Look, he's changing colors already, huh? He's yeah. not brown anymore. Yeah, you bonked him. As soon as you bonk those, they'll start changing colors on you. Even the big ones, like the big tigers and stuff, you bonk them, or the big uh, yellow eyes, all of a sudden, boom, they're not near as pretty. Yeah, that's like turned pale. Yeah. Look at that! Look this little cheap. Pretty cool, it's 34 incher halibut fish. Or halibut, it's a charter fish. You know, this is our uh, top end of the scale. This is what we look for when we're out guiding, trying to get a halibut on a charter. There's your cheap meat. You just pinch the skin. It's almost like a scallop comes off of there. It's not fishy. It's halibut, yeah, Pacific Island. Bye. But then I read. 